Welcome back. Part two of our leg of the intermediate journey here. We're going to the sun. That sounds like fun. See, you know it's cool because it rhymed. Don't go burning that R wing. Be reasonable, Fox. I'll be careful. It's like I'm good, bro. If I want to go burn my R wing, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. He talks like it's his, but it's definitely not. Like it, it, he talks like it's like he owns a squadron or something. And he doesn't. General Pepper's just paying us. He's got no say over it. He just tells us what to shoot. We shoot. He says, to, "Jump." We say, "How high?" I don't know. Keep an eye on your shield gauge. Yeah, it really seems like a bad idea though to go to the sun. The R wing might not make. It. Okay, so I'm losing health just from like being here. This baby can take temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. I don't know why this is. Ow. Fudge. I don't know why this is in the medium or the intermediate difficulty. It's like you're losing health just by being in this level. It's a cool level, though. It always looks like. Uh, I think that stuff looks like spaghetti. Like, you know when you throw up? I think that's what this makes me think of. Like. <laughs> oh, hey, Bill. God, I love that. It's like. Don't get to it. You'll get you'll get people from uh, from other levels to come and help you out like that if you go and do it. Like there's some other secret ones that show up that will show in the advanced uh, the advanced or experts not expert but the advanced the hard path I guess. No, what I was saying though is like look at the color of the those solar flares or those jets that come out of there, and tell me that if you've ever thrown up spaghetti, that it doesn't look exactly like how that tastes when you throw up spaghetti. Like, it looks like it would taste like the way you you uh, throw up spaghetti. You know? You can see the cheese and the sauce all in there. Oh, I'm gonna nuke these guys. Look at that. Look at all those bombs. But that's what I see, those big ones like that. It's just like the sauce and the cheese and the little bits of noodle and sausage. Ow! I don't know how birds live here. This is ridiculous. This will fix up the ship pretty well. I don't understand why he flies that close if it's too hot for him. Whatever. Slippy's weird. Strange guy. Gotta drop one of those out. Woo! They have got to remake this, though. They've got to make a new Star Fox at some point. I don't understand why not. They know it'd be a hit. Can you imagine playing a Star Fox game on Switch? It would be freaking cool. It'd be so good, I would assume. I know they did a Star Fox add-on thing for, like, um, some other game on either Wii U or Switch. And you can get, like, an R-Wing or something, and that's pretty much it. That's it. There's no, like, other tie-in to it. And I don't know if it was you get an R-Wing in the game, or if you get an R-Wing action figure, but I think it was... Well, I don't know, actually. Because, dude, I would love an official R-Wing action figure, like a little model. That'd be really, really cool. Alright, we've got King Pasta Puke here. Let's see. Yeah, it's hands. It's one down. Come on. What the heck? Maybe it's an R. Aim for the R. Maybe what's an arm? That's the thing. It's like, like I was saying the other one. Like it's so vague. They don't actually tell you. It's like it's an arm. What's an arm? Do you mean the weak points an arm? Do you mean the main weapon is an arm? Do you think the entire thing is an arm? Like, they never really. They're just always Yippee! so vague. I don't know. Doesn't matter what it is because it's dead now. All aircraft report. Again, I don't know why I'm flying so close to the damn sun. Like, why don't you go a little bit higher? I've taken a few hits, but I'm okay. Ah, you're getting better, Fox. Yeah. Stacking up those kills. 
Bill is going to be like, all right, so I see you got a bunch of Andros fighters, a bunch of bosses, and bioweapons, and you kill a bunch of birds. Like, That's right. Was that necessary? Yes, it was. <laughs> and to kill the firebirds. I don't know. So this mission is really cool. I like this one a lot. This is the other one where you get to use the Landmaster tank. Are you going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox. It'll be a piece of cake, General. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, there's only two missions in the game where you get to use the Landmaster, and this is one of them. The other one was Titania. And I like this one better between the two because I really like the idea of going through this base. I'll try and blow up as much of this as I can here. Nope, I'm not gonna get it though. They're gonna start dropping rocks at me. <laughs> oh. This is just so cool though. I love this mission because you have all the. Uh, it's just like Titania in that sense, that you have the fighters flying over it, and you have this awesome, like, slow-paced, but just epic kind of sounding music going on. And you can see all the fighters flying above you, and it just keeps this really low-profile view in here. I just love it. Yeah, I will shoot that. Shoot a bunch of stuff. Peppy, this is what I'm talking about. They just, it's like, oh, are you shooting at this enemy? Mind if I cut in in front of you? Like, yeah, I do. Stop doing that. Oh, makes me think of my friend, though. I've got that friend, I think I was saying it went to Titania, too, or, or somewhere else. Where it's like, just completely unaware of every environmental variable ever, and so... If you're in, like a first-person shooter, he'll run like right in front of you. Or if you're trying to scoot around the edge, he'll still end up just shooting completely straight and like shoot right at you. It's like, dude, <laughs> come on! Like you're not the only person in this freaking game. Like, do you want to work as a team or what? You know. But there was another game we were playing too one time. It was uh, it was Warhammer. What the heck was it? It was Warhammer on PC. And I remember it's a really cool game. You can have different. Uh, teams for each player and you can uh, you can move around these cities and stuff where you're you're controlling these teams and whatever and so I think he was controlling the one that had like rockets and he would constantly be fucking throwing these rockets at me and I'm like dude if you're gonna throw these rockets out there because they were they were doing friendly fire it's like tell me and I'll I'll get out of the way quick I've got like jump jet dudes I remember I watched him one time and he's like as he's hitting the button, or already clicking the button, he's like, I'm launching, I'm firing the rockets, I'm firing the rockets! And it's like, they're already in the air at that point, so my guys have no possible way to get out of the way. And it's just taking out half the health or killing my squads, I'm like, god damn it, dude. I'm gonna go and intentionally blow up all your dudes after this. I don't know. It's like... I love doing team-based stuff, and I think I just get really frustrated when it's like other people that are in there that aren't doing team-based mentalities. You know what I mean? Like, it's fun. It's a super fun game, but I like working together for stuff really well. Um, not all the time, but like most of the time, especially stuff like that, where it's like, hey, what good is it gonna do to have all of my guys dead? It's like, oh man, yeah, we, did, we, we gotta try harder next time. Like. Well, he's never said that, but it's like, yeah, these guys are tough. It's like, yeah, it's because there's friendly fire abound. Like, what are you fucking trying to tell me here? Anyway, that has nothing to do with Star Fox. But the situation here is that there's there's a secret part to this mission, right? And it has to do with these switches, which is exactly what Peppy's talking about. So we got to take out these switches. And you do that by just shooting the tops of them here, but you only get one chance at each one, so you gotta make sure you watch the numbers. So we got one, two, three is to the left. We got four. Four is up top. I think five is behind here. Nope. Come on. Five is to the side then. Yep. Five. But here's some more of the vag stuff. He's like, you're very lucky. Like, why are we lucky? And I think it's because you get to, like, you get to experience this guy's awesome, I don't know, attack or some bullshit like that. 
<laughs> it's just, it, it just feels like there was some translation that they left out. There's a, some, I don't know, some sentences that they don't have. Okay, so we got all eight, so now we gotta try and shoot this thing back behind here. Okay, so we got it. Shoot. We got it. We got it. One more. Right there. So we're gonna give him a nice stop right into the fuel depot. Oh. Hell yeah, look at those 50 extra points I got there, too. Oh, so satisfying. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know, it makes me think of like the, the mental equivalent playing with somebody like that who... Do you ever, like, when you're younger, you ever have it where you're trying to run against somebody, like, in a race or something, and, like, you're just like, hey, I'm gonna, oh, race to the edge of the corner, or whatever, like, okay, and you're faster than them, but they stick their arm out in front of you as you're trying to get by, so it's like, no, 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 you can't get by, you can't get by, uh, I'm, I'm faster, it's like, I beat you, it's like, you're an idiot, and, um, you're stupid, is basically what really happened here. It's kind of like the mental equivalent of that, or, I, not mental, but the metaphorical equivalent of that, it's like, you're hamstringing your own team, my friend. But, I don't know, some people don't have... What is it? The... Circumstantial... Senses, maybe? I don't know what it is. I don't know my... It just annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> but, most of the time it's pretty cool, but I just think of it in, like, that game where it's like, dude, you're, you're blowing up all my dudes. It's pissing me off. So since we got the actual mission accomplished version of that, it wants to point us over towards the hard version. But we are going to go back over to Seizure Satellite, so... If you didn't watch the other views for some reason, if you this the one's just... Like, I think these were all fine when they were on Tube TV, but on like, an LCD they just flash like crazy. It's the shield here, then like when it explodes, so... If you didn't see the other one, there's your warning. <laughs> it's just... Uh, 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 uh. It makes that sound too. It makes a sound like a belching sound when it explodes, uh, because it's actually just one giant gas bubble. Aim for the six energy towers. Yeah, I don't know. Another game that I really like to do though is Rogue Squadron, and it makes me think of it because this game, you know, plays the same way. It's really, really cool, like Starfighter stuff. So we gotta take out these. I think, I mean, that was in the first run, right? We we already know this is old news. Your carcass is mine. Gonna knock out these towers. Hey, the force field is disappearing. Looks like we've got company. Those things look like the Vulcan sign when they come out. Those little V's kind of shaped thing. They're like I don't know, triple, triple pointed. Thing. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I know what I'm trying to say, but I don't know how I'm trying to say it. The ships kind of look like the hand when, like a Vulcan's hand, when it has the. Live long and prosper, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure you know what I'm saying. Where did the music go? Oh, right. <laughs> they really should make Lego sets of these guys. I don't know. I think they're really good. They're cool ships, too. That's what I need to see. So we've got the core. We're gonna take out Star Wolf first, though. Cause he's not too bad. Once I find him. Whoa. I'm really glad they don't count accuracy in this game. Holy crap! It's like five different people right behind him. There's no time limit, really. It's just how long your people can stay alive, I guess. I, I don't know. Sorry, pal. Do a little bit of both. The reason I don't want to destroy the core right away, though, is because you get those freaking lasers shooting out everywhere. Where are these guys? 
<laughs> I think whenever I, yeah, whenever I hear Slippy say that, oh no, it was like, uh, one time, shoot, you know, it's really tough to do all this and still aim at the same time, or to still talk about stuff, but no, uh, so a girl that I was with was, uh, one of my best friends was making a quiche one time, whoops, sorry, Slip, making a really nice quiche for, uh, her college class, I forget what the class was, and I did one of those things where, like, I think I fake, fake dropped it when we pulled it out of the oven. Cause I'm like, I got it. But then I, I really dropped it when we pulled it out of the oven. And she made that exact same sound that Slippy makes. And I felt so bad about that ever since, cause I saw the look on her face and it was, like, she was really trying to make this quiche nice, and I just go and fucked it right up, and I felt so bad. She was just like, oh. It's like I dropped somebody's baby or something. But whatever. I think it's probably okay. I'm sure she forgave me for it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I tell you what, those lasers are getting me, so let's go and get some... Shoot, let's get some health back. Yeah, I hear you slip. You know, I've got other things going on. You're not the only person in my life. So. I still don't understand why the other people on my team can't go help out the other people on my team. Sh seriously, these damn. Uh, uh, that last one I watched point right at me. Well, those are the only things that are really hurting me. You know what I could do? I could probably go for that, uh, the supply over there. Shoot. What other parts are left? I want to try and go for another run, but god, those lasers are wicked. There it is, there it is. It's the last one. Alright, here's your warning. I still don't understand that. I don't understand why. Why the Japanese are like, you know what we need? We seriously need more flashing lights. Like, well, how about this, sir? Hmm. Uh, colors are good, but make them flash faster. Like, you got it. Venom, it's like, here we come. let's use the test audience. What do they think? Like, they're all unconscious, sir. Excellent. And they're convulsing, too? Yep. All right, ship it. You know, like, I just don't get it. I don't get why it has to be that way. Not that it ever bothered me before, but once you start playing these things on, like I said, like a higher resolution or higher frame rate kind of stuff, it's like it... Well, I don't know. I mean, Tube TVs had a... I think they had a high... Well, Plasma's had high frame rates. I don't think... CRT's had high frame rates, too. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. They never seem very bad on a Tube TV, is what I'm saying. But then you watch something on, like, yeah, Plasma... Like, I played Battletoads on my Plasma screen. A while ago, and it's like, nope, this is definitely not made for that. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. I love Battletoads too. It's like my favorite game growing up. Growing up when I was until like second grade, I guess, and I started getting other games. But so when we go in here, the part where I gotta try and take out or get better at is when we're fighting Andros. Is that? He sucks you into his mouth, and I swear, I'm laying on the brake, but I think it takes more than that. You have to, like, lay on the brake at the right time. I don't know what it is. Well, let's knock these guys out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I was doing expert mode, this is where I was getting killed every time. It's these little guys. The dudes on the ground, the little tanks, they fire three times at you. And every time you get hit, they knock you all over the screen. And then you're trying to shoot at them, and then, like, yeah, Peppy or Falco comes in. But they don't actually kill them, so instead they're just taking hits. That pisses me off. No, maybe when I was doing the, uh, the actual... Maybe when I was going for the medals back in the day, I had just straight up shot them. Who knows? I wouldn't put it past me after a while. So you guys aren't really helping any more than you're hurting. 
Oh. What the heck are these things? Little blocks. I do not remember these. I can't blow them up either. What the heck? Jeez. I definitely don't remember those. I am not taking that route next to Holy crap. Yeah, what an insult. Tin cans. It's like, yo mama's so fat. Hey, don't be talking about my mama, tin can. Like, uh, what? Oh, you just told me. That temple gives me the creep. So let's go right inside again. Yeah. Whatever, I'm gonna knock this guy out too. Maybe. Catch up to him. What's going on? He's running away. He's a robot. Do what I want to do. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, you know, he's too far away again. He's getting all that shit in front of him. Ah, seriously. Okay. Okay, ow, no. Things are not going well. <laughs> so we gotta get his shoulders again, I think. Yep, that was what I had the issue with last time. I forget that his shoulders are destructible. But we'll take him out now. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, we may have lost a wing. But that's okay. That's okay. We're okay. I just can't freaking see what, like... It, uh, I don't know. The depth is tough with this. There. Great. I wouldn't mind having my double lasers back again, but you know, whatever. I'll take it. I'll go it alone from here. Oh, I got my wings back. Good. I wonder if he'll actually give me both my wings back. I wonder how he regrew his wings. I don't know. Yes, I got it. Okay, good. For you, Star I wasn't going to start the movie until you came. But now that you are here, we can watch. You know that I control the galaxy. I know that I want to have <laughs> some extra lasers, damn it. There we go. So if I can figure out the part where he sucks you in, will be no problem. This will be fine. Wow, that's original. All right, we got the the extra extra the blue lasers. So here we go. Those hitboxes would be nice to take effect. There we go. Ooh. All right, that's one down. Come on, Andros. Okay, now we gotta play our cards right here. I think that might have been a little bit too late. No, we're good. We're good. Okay, yep. You can't do it right away. He's going to puke at us. Now he's going to do his bullshit again, too. He's going to fly up right at me. Oh, phew. okay. We should be good. Hell yeah. Good lord. Is that what a real explosion looks like when they blow stuff up? It's just like flashes crap like that. Dude. 
Got our pasta puke coming back out again. That's good. Uh, yeah. Are you okay? Yes! You did it! We're okay. Okay, I'll admit it. You did good, Fox. Yeah, that's right. I want that. Did we get a recording of that? Can I play it back? We get a recording? Thank you. Yes. Yes, Falco, we did do it. So there's our stats. But, like I said in the other one, I'm gonna wait for the credits until we hit up the very last one at the very end with like the, the master or the expert mode. So, all right, on the next episode, we'll come back and we'll, we'll start off on the expert route here. So, see you then.